Hey guys, it's Bren. Today I'm here with a pretty significantly sized Bath & Body Works holiday candle haul, at least for me. I feel like it's a lot. I got 10 different new holiday candles that I want to discuss with you. Um, pretty exciting. I know that I haven't posted in a little bit. That's not really like planned or on purpose. I just have two jobs, as most of you know, and October is like the busy season for my career. So I just, I can't prioritize the candles <laughs> sometimes. Um, but it kind of was nice because because you know usually I'm always like following what's going on with them and what's coming out and so when I go into the store I have a list I've seen these things on Instagram I know exactly what I want I've watched other people's reviews whereas this time just kind of this weekend I finally got to kind of take a breath <laughs> and I was like you know there's holiday candles out. I should go check them out. And so I got to have the experience of like a casual shopper where like I didn't really know what they had. I just went in and looked around and smelled things. And that was nice. But um, I did sort of just decide at one point while I was in there because there was just so much new. And I, you know, I was wearing a mask so you can't really smell everything like in that great of detail. And there were just like a lot of smells. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get everything. I'm just gonna get one of each of anything that intrigues me. At all. I had a 20% off coupon and I was like, you know, and then I'll, I'll return the ones that if I get home and I'm like, oh, why did I buy this? I'll return it. So some of these will get returned. I'm going to try not to burn in return because I, you know, I don't like to do that too much, even though they will let you if you've only burned it a little bit. And if a candle is like not at all the same burning as when you smell it on cold, I think that's very nice that they have that policy, but I try not to do it. So some of these I might not even end up burning now that I've gotten to take them home, sit with them for a night compare them to what else I have in my collection some of them might just go back but uh, some of them I will keep as well so uh, let's go ahead and get into it the first thing I'll mention is actually one that I didn't pick up so I don't have it to show you but I did smell the blackberry creme frosting and I meant to pick it up I had it kind of like in and out of my bag before I decided like I'll just get one of everything because I was like I don't know if I should get this because it does smell a lot like berry sangria freeze if you smelled that one that candle must have come out a long time ago 2014 or 15 or something like it was a triple layer with the color three different colors um, and it was very reminiscent of one before that that was called berry fizz and anyway it's kind of just like a berry scent with a very fizzy effervescent note which I find when they, they do that bubbly note, I usually don't really like it. It kind of can come off as a little chemically to me, and I think that's what I didn't really like about Berry Sangria Freeze. But this Blackberry Creme Frosting, it might have been an exact repackage. It was definitely very similar to that. So I ultimately ended up putting it back because I knew I probably wouldn't really like it since I didn't like Berry Sangria Freeze. But like I said, I did still get 10 other new candles, so we still have tons and tons to discuss. Um, and I also have some body care, so I picked up the minis. I actually, I like that they have the 2.5 ounce creams. Um, they don't always do that, but then I was able to do like buy two, get one, and try all of these new guys. So I will talk about that at the end of the video, but we'll, we'll do candles first. Okay. I have them all laid out <laughs> with a bunch of other candles that I want to compare things to. Let's take a breath. Let's get ready. Let's do this. First, I will talk about Peppermint Hot Chocolate. So apparently this one was a delayed release. It wasn't out um, when the rest of the collection was out or it was kind of rare or hard to find. Again, I haven't really been keeping up with things, but that was the gist that I got when I did have a chance to go on Instagram. I found it right away at the front of my store. No problem. So maybe it's, it's out now. Um, I just have to wonder how many different mint chocolate scents can Bath & Body Works do over the years? I mean, there's like a different one every year and they're all just only like slightly different, um, but different enough that you're like, it's not a repackage, but like, it's another mint chocolate scent. There's so many. Uh, I have a whole video where I compared all of the Bath & Body Works mint chocolate scents, history of Bath & Body Works mint chocolate candles. I'll try to remember to link to that, like, up here or in the description or something. Um, but I would say this one is most closely related to the original, the OG mint chocolate candle. Out of all the Bath and Body Works mint chocolates, the my favorite is white mint latte. 
because that's a little sweeter. Peppermint brownie is good. Mint chip shake is also a little sweeter with a little bit more vanilla. Then there's the peppermint um, chocolate cream. And that one was very heavy on the fudge. Like it, it was reminiscent of the hot fudge sundae or chocolate lava cake candle, but like with mint. Um, and this is somewhat similar to that, but I don't get all that chocolate in here. I think the mint's the same, but not like the fudge note. Um, for me, this one is the closest to just mint chocolate. In fact, they could be the same. Hard to say because this one's old. What is this from 2016? And it's been burned. But they could be really the same or like, I don't know, slightly different. Like I said, if you have one, you really don't need them all. They're all so similar. Um, but what I do get here is like a dark chocolate. Now the notes say mint chocolate. They say peppermint mint chocolate sweet cream. I feel like it's more like dark chocolate because like I said, this one's not as sweet as like mint chip shake or white mint latte or even peppermint brownie. It's not quite as sweet. Uh, so to me, it feels more like a bitter dark chocolate, but the mint is really in your face. That, that mint uh, in my Instagram post, I said it kind of smells like toothpaste because it kind of does. And I think you could get past that. Um, but that was my kind of first impression of it. I was like, whoo, that is minty. That is toothpastey. I don't know if I still feel that way. I think some people could really like this. For some people, this could be their favorite of all the mint chocolates. It's not mine though. I prefer it a little sweeter. And since I have a lot of white mint latte, which is my fave, um, I don't think I really need to keep this. You know, it's like I've got a mint chocolate, I've got a peppermint brownie, I've got all those others. This one will probably go back. Slightly different than a lot of the other mint chocolates, but like not that much different. Um, so that was that one. Next, I will talk about iced cranberry scone. So iced cranberry scone is cranberry, brown sugar, vanilla. And I, you know, was wondering, is this a repackage of sweet cranberry pie? I've got, uh, what do I have here? I've got a new unburned sweet cranberry pie. And I've got the spiced cranberry toffee that came out, um, I was going to say around Thanksgiving. We're not even at Thanksgiving. When Bath & Body Works put out some Thanksgiving candles. So this one was out before the holiday candles. My store still had some. Um, these are very similar. This is very similar. When I picked up ice cranberry scone in the store and I smelled it, I decided to get it because to my nose on cold, it didn't smell the same as sweet cranberry pie. And the difference for me was there was less of a crust note and more of a cranberry note. And I liked that. It was fruitier. So as most of you, if you're watching this, you probably know sweet cranberry pie has the same base like bakery note as blueberry pie and as berry waffle cone. And it's also very similar to the crusty note in warm apple pie. Um, and when cr sweet cranberry pie first came out, I really liked it. I actually liked it a little bit more than blueberry pie because it was a little bit, the berry note was just like a little tartar, little, you know, like a cranberry would be. And I liked that. But sweet cranberry pie can be like, whoo, like it could be, in your face like it's very very strong and I kind of got sick of it after I burned one and I bought a few um and so I liked the spiced cranberry toffee because it's very similar to sweet cranberry pie but like a little less intense perhaps a little bit more warm with that little bit of a toffee note but otherwise it's still very similar to sweet cranberry pie but I thought on cold, the iced cranberry scone might be really nice because the bakery note was turned down, the cranberry was really turned up, and I felt like it was really juicy and fruity. But then I burned it today, and I didn't even let it pull out all the way. I was disappointed because when I burned it, I didn't get that more cranberry that I thought I was going to get. It just kind of smelled like a poor man's sweet cranberry pie. You know, it still felt like the crust note was dominating the berry note, but overall it was very weak. Um, sweet cranberry pie is like a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 throw. It's like too much, pretty much. It's just, ugh. But then ice cranberry scone, they've dialed it down to like a 3. Like I could really barely smell it. And on a first burn, you should really be able to smell it. I, it just, it was just weak and boring and I lost the berry and I was sad. So we have kind of a Goldilocks scenario where like this one's too strong, this one's too weak, this one is just right. I actually like the spiced cranberry toffee. If you can still find it, I would recommend picking up this one over the ice cranberry scone. Ice cranberry scone, I'm disappointed in it. Um, 
smell better on cold than burning. It's still not like horrible, you know. I like all of these, but it was it was pretty weak. So that's how I felt about that. This is another one that I had in and out of my basket and I wasn't sure if I should pick it up because I think it's too sweet for me. But this is cinnamon sugared pecans. It's not the same as pumpkin pecan waffles or any of the pumpkin pecan waffle ripoff candles like praline pecan cobbler. Um, this seems new, but oh my gosh, this one actually smells just like the notes. It's a cinnamon sugar, pecans, and brown sugar but I would put those in reverse order. I get brown sugar like right away. It kind of smells like the brown sugar pop tarts if you're into that kind of thing. It is very strong on the brown sugar and the cinnamon. This is a brown sugar cinnamon candle. If you really think about it and you try to find it, maybe there's a little bit of a nuttiness, but like, wow, this is brown sugar. I'm very on the fence about if I want to give it a burn or not because I do like the way that it smells but I think it's gonna be too sweet for my taste. So I'm like, I already kinda wanna return ice cranberry scone even though I burned it. I don't know if I should chance it and burn this, but maybe I'll like it, but you would have to like very sweet candles to like this because it is, it is very, very sweet. It is very much just like sticking your nose into straight brown sugar and cinnamon. It's really those two things. So it is good, but sweet. Okay, let me get myself a little more light. Is that any different? I opened the window a little more. It's getting dark so early. It's like I can't film after work anymore because it's dark out after work. Um, all right, we're gonna get like a little controversial now. <laughs> Not really controversial, but I don't know, I feel like there's a little bit of controversy here, maybe just because I posted on Instagram last night some thoughts about this candle and no one agreed with me, so I was sad. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the Love Cotton Candy Champagne Candle. So the notes on this one are rosé, strawberry, pink sugar. And I immediately knew that it was very similar to something else and then it popped in my brain and I realized I think it smells a lot like champagne toast. So we got champagne toast here. Um, this is an older one and it's burned, but don't worry because I also have a brand new champagne toast scent portable to use for comparison. This still smells like champagne toast, so the candle, it's, it's still there. But I posted on Instagram that I thought they were similar and everyone was like, no, no, no. Usually somebody's agreeing with me, <laughs> but I got no agreements. I mean, some people said, yeah, I can see the connection, but nobody said like, yeah, I think they're really similar. So I had to think about it, you know, and I slept on it. But every time I go back to it, I'm still like, I still feel like it smells a lot like champagne toast to me. I, I, I feel, I'm gonna stand by it. I'm gonna stand by my original opinion. I do still think that there's a lot of similarities between the love candle and champagne toast. Let me give this new, brand new scent portable a sniff. Like, yeah, I mean, and this smells just like the candle. And I've smelled champagne toast so much, you know, I know what it smells like. I've got the body care too. That, you know what it is? It's the bubbly note, it's the effervescence. It's that, that is the same in these two candles. But I think the difference is that nectarine, is it nectarine that's in champagne toast? It is. Wow, I'm impressed with my memory. I don't know how I remembered that. That <laughs> nectarine note in champagne toast. Um, kind of like take that out and put strawberry in. So this is what I was getting in the comments on my post. People were saying, oh my gosh, no, they're not at all the same because there's all the there's the strawberry note in the cotton candy champagne. Everyone was getting the strawberry note. And I do get that now, but I had to search for it. It wasn't what was hitting me. What was primarily hitting me was like, this is champagne toast or a tweak on champagne toast. I think the tweak, I think the difference is that you do get a strawberry note in there kind of instead of nectarine. And the strawberry note, um, a couple people commented and compared it to the Happy Easter Cotton Candy Marshmallow candle, which was Strawberry Picnic. Um, very similar, I don't have that one, but very similar to Strawberry Sorbet and the strawberry note there. Um, also kind of, it kind of smells a little bit like saltwater taffy to me. 
have that candle here, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more like the Boardwalk Taffy body care than this candle actually. But there is this very soft, sweet strawberry. I don't think, like I didn't think to compare this on first sniff to like cotton candy marshmallow or strawberry picnic um, or even saltwater taffy because those candles are so sweet and just kind of fluffy and, and, and ooey gooey sweetness. And this, the cotton candy um, champagne, definitely has some zip to it. It has a little bit of tartness like champagne toast does. And you certainly get that bubbly kind of feel. Um, so I think that's the big difference for me. But yes, you are right. I will give everybody that. It's not the same. It's not a repackage. I think it's like, I'm, I'm going to die on this hill. I think this candle is like 75% champagne toast. Maybe no one will agree with me forever and that's okay because it's just my nose and whatever. But I feel like it's like champagne toast with a sweet strawberry, uh, you know, in there. I think it's a blend of those things. That's just me. Some people wanted to compare it to Pinkberry Gumdrop which is also very similar to Unicorn Sprinkles and some other ones that they've put out all kind of in that same vein. And, you know, I honestly thought based on just the notes and the name that it probably was going to be a Pink Fairy Gumdrop repackage, but it's not. Pink Fairy Gumdrop has that Smarties candy vibe, you know? It smells very much like that. And I'm not getting that in the Love Candy, uh, Cotton Candy Champagne. I'm getting just like bubbliness, a little bit of tartness, and that sweet strawberry. I'm getting champagne toast with strawberry. Okay, I'll stop talking about it now, but all right, let's stick with that collection. Uh, let's talk about Peace I Iced Raspberry Bellini. Um, okay, it's been a long day. I'm surprised I'm not screwing up my words even more. I've been on the phone all day. Um, okay, so this one is Prosecco Raspberry Citrus. Very much kind of like your cranberry pear bellini type of scent. Reminds me a little bit too of cranberry peach, which is the same as snowy peach berry. And I've got that one here. Um, there are a lot of candles that they do like this that are very light. So I've got a cranberry pear bellini here too. This one here also from 2016. And I've always liked cranberry pear bellini on cold and I've always felt like it's too light when it's burning. Uh, and sometimes with their candles like that, I feel like you can smell like something burning more than the actual scent of the candle because the scent of the candle is just not very strong. And I'm worried about the iced raspberry Bellini candle because it just smells like it's going to do the same thing. But I haven't burned this one yet. On cold sniff, the difference is that the cranberry pear bellini is just like really tart and the fruit is tart, like cranberries. And I do get raspberry in the raspberry one. It does smell a little sweeter because of that sweet raspberry. I'm gonna give it another chance. I'm gonna hope that that sweet raspberry maybe helps it out. I will probably end up burning this, so stay tuned to my Instagram, at Candles and Music, to see how I feel about it after it burns. Or if I feel like I have enough to say and I have time, maybe I'll do like a post burn video, but that's really going to vary. It's pretty easy to throw up an Instagram post. It's not necessarily that easy to film a video, especially when it's getting dark out so soon. All right. I actually need to take an intermission though and shuffle candles around because now I have to reach really far to get to the other ones. Okay. I have done some shuffling and I turned a light on. I don't know if it's helping, <laughs> but let's keep moving. Uh, the next one that I'm going to talk about, very similar to the Peace candle, actually. So it makes sense that we'll go here next. Bright Christmas morning. Uh, this one says red ripe berries, ripe red berries, actually, blood orange and crisp apple. <sighs> I'm kind of bored with this candle. You know, it's very sour, just like iced raspberry bellini. But Ice Raspberry Bellini, because of that raspberry, that sweetness, it kind of takes on a jelly bean quality, honestly. Um, it's just more interesting to me than Bright Christmas Morning. Bright Christmas Morning, it kind of just smells like sour. Like, that's really it. Just kind of like a watered down sour candle. The berry is more nondescript, just like the notes, you know, ripe red berries, doesn't even say what kind. Maybe it's kind of like cranberry because it's very sour. Orange, it just kind of just comes off as like sour citrus. 
And then what else are we supposed to have here? Apple? Yeah, I mean, sure, I guess. But apple's kind of boring in and of itself for me. It's not like a, a juicy, ripe apple. It's, this candle just, it smells just like sour water. Like if you dissolved like a Sour Patch Kid in water, I just not, I'm not really getting anything that's standing out. It's just a, it's a fruitiness, but it's very tart. And I definitely feel like this one, if you burned it, would probably be weak. It smells very weak on cold. I think between this and the Ice Raspberry Bellini, I don't need both. And I like the Ice Raspberry Bellini a lot better. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's very, it's very bright. I'll give it that. But the brightness comes from the tartness and it just smells like, so sour. I just don't think it would be good burning. I don't know. If you burn it, let me know. But this is probably going to be one that I return. I don't think I'm going to hang on to this. Oh, well, can't win them all. All right. Also in that collection, I picked up cookies with Santa. And for some reason, Christmas morning has like a cool lid and my cookies with Santa has a boring lid. And not only that, it also smells like Doritos. So, you know, they've been having, <laughs> they've been having problems with their lids lately. And again, I've been kind of out of the loop. So people have been posting about like fishy lids and I'm like, what are they talking about? And then I smelled one the other day in the store that smelled like fish. And I was like, oh, I get it now. I picked this one up in the store and I always kind of smell them like this with, you know, getting my nose like between, you know, and uh, Josh was with me holding all the candles and I, I go, smell this. Does this smell like Doritos? And he's like, yes, that smells like Cool Ranch Doritos. And we're like, what in the world? But it's really just the lid. The candle doesn't smell like that. So anyway, I'll put that lid aside. The candle, it's supposed to be cinnamon, brown sugar, drop of vanilla. Again, very nondescript, kind of boring. It smells kind of boring. Gosh, it smells a little bit, you know, I've got a few candles over here. Eh, not exactly like butter rum eggnog because it doesn't have that booziness. The ones that I brought over to compare it to actually are cinnamon Irish cream is one of them. Um, and I also have cinnamon frosting, but nothing can touch cinnamon frosting. It's not that good. Don't get excited. The reason that I want to compare this to cinnamon Irish cream is that frosting note. So cinnamon Irish cream is crazy strong. It's another one that I can like barely burn because it's just like almost too intense. And I feel like I've said that about several candles already. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening to me. I'm like turning into someone who doesn't like 10 out of 10 candles anymore. I don't know. Is that possible that your nose could get more sensitive as you get older? I mean, cause I really don't need that. But cinnamon Irish cream, while very strong, um, has kind of a coffee note. You have to take that out of your mind. Cookies with Santa doesn't have that. And also, it has a little bit of a red hot cinnamon note. And I would not say Cookies with Santa has a red hot cinnamon, just it has like more of a mild cinnamon. But it, it very much smells like a can of frosting, like vanilla frosting, just open it up, stick your nose in it. That's what this smells like. But this is very strong. Cinnamon Irish cream is intensely strong. Imagine that vanilla frosting note just like dialed way down. But it is kind of the same. In Cookies with Santa, it's it's the same sort of frosting note. And then because there's spice in it too, that's why it reminds me of Cinnamon Irish Cream. But it's like way weaker and like way more kind of nondescript and vague. You know, it's just, yeah, it smells like sweetness. It smells a little like cookies. So the beloved Cinnamon Frosting, this is an old one. This is from 2014. Oh my gosh, that is nostalgia. That brings me back. This one also has like a vanilla frosting type of note with some cinnamon, but it's so much better. Sorry, I know, I mean, I hate to say how awesome things are when people can't get them anymore, but I just missed this one. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, Cookies with Santa is more boring than either of those. It's kind of boring. I don't know if I'm going to burn it or not. I hope it doesn't smell like chips if I do, but it just kind of, I don't know. It's not exciting. Like if you like sweet bakery scents, you'll like it. It's very non-offensive if you like bakery scents and you like vanilla. But there's nothing stand out about it. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with that one if I want to burn it or not. All right, let's get weird. Here's another one where, so like with the love candle, I really think it smells like champagne toast. But <laughs> with this one, I have 
I've made a comparison that none of y'all need to pay attention to this because this is coming out of left, left field. But I will say with holiday cheer here, I was smelling this walking around my house last night. I just kept smelling it. And I was like, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of something. This smells like something else. I couldn't figure it out. And it was like, I knew I had it right there. Like I could feel the synapses in my brain, like just trying to like connect. Like it was, it was right there. It was right there. And I was like, I know that if I just keep smelling this, it'll dawn on me. But I really, I felt like it was, I really worked my brain out trying to figure this out. And then it clicked. And I was like, I don't know why. I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of Yankee Candle Crunchy Pistachio Vanilla. I don't know why. Uh, it's something about it. Something about it. I mean, you can call me crazy for this. You absolutely can. It's not the pistachio note that's in this. It's like the base. Like if you could imagine this candle without pistachio. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. We can move on because most of you probably haven't even smelled this, but... I had to tell the story because I was really excited when I finally figured out what it was reminding me of, but I don't know why. It's something, it's kind of like an airy quality maybe that it shares. But I find that this holiday cheer, which also is like supposed to say vanilla, spiced rum, dash of nutmeg, it's kind of boring. It's a dulled down butter rum eggnog. I just have the ugly dear Santa, I blame the eggnog version of that. This is another super strong candle that's super intense. And then Holiday Cheer is like this version of it that's like a two out of 10 or something. And that's on cold sniff. I do not feel like this would be strong if I burned it. So I don't think I'm going to. Sometimes the eggnog candle can be a little too intense. So I'm tempted to see if maybe this would feel the same, um, but be like a more reasonable throw. Like, but. It's barely given me anything on cold. Um, it does share that boozy note, that kind of rum feel uh, with the eggnog candle, but sort of like Cookies with Santa, it just feels sort of vague and just like generally sweet, but there's nothing that's like stand out about it. I'm bored with it, I guess, is what it is. I don't know. All right, we're nearing the end. We're nearing the end. Um, brown sugar latte. All right. So this one says coffee, milk, praline, and you know, it's good. Um, it reminds me a lot of Paris cafe, but it's sweetened up a little less intense than Paris cafe, a little more sweet. Um, you know, if you like Paris cafe, if you like coffee scents, or if you like Paris cafe, but you feel like it could be a little sweeter, which I do. Um, here you go. Brown sugar latte. Uh, it definitely smells like coffee. It's not like, uh, you know, I feel like white caramel cold, cold brew doesn't really smell like coffee. It just smells like caramel and same with, uh, caramel pumpkin latte, which was just repackaged and whipped coffee too. Whipped coffee just smelled like caramel to me. I wasn't actually getting like coffee. No, this one more akin to Paris cafe where like it smells like coffee. It's predominantly a coffee scent. I'm not really getting praline or anything. It's just kind of like a maybe slightly lighter sweetened up version of Paris Cafe. And I think I'll keep it. I like that. I haven't burned it yet, but I'm probably going to give that one a shot. Plan on keeping that one. Okay. The last one is interesting and I lit this up. It's still a little warm. Lit this up just before I filmed. This is out of left field for me to even pick this up. I don't know what came over me. Winterberry Wreath. So Winterberry Wreath is supposed to be orange, blackberry, and vetiver, which not my thing, y'all. Not my thing. You know, I don't really like cologne scents. I don't really like earthy scents. Vetiver is very earthy. But I was intrigued because the blackberry, on cold, the blackberry really comes out and it smells really good. And I got the orange. I felt like I got the orange. I felt like I got the blackberry. I definitely got the vetiver. Um, but the candle smelled like it said. I could smell all three things. They were all very strong. And it just felt different. I feel like all of these other candles that I've talked about with you in this whole video, they all smell like other candles. And they're all kind of like a poor man's this, a weaker version of this, a slight tweak of this. I can compare them all to existing Bath & Body Works candles and nothing's really new. And if I'm telling the truth, 
yeah, I've been busy at work, but I also think that I've kind of over the years lost a little bit of my excitement for the candles because what was so exciting about them back when I started collecting and I started YouTube was that it was always exciting to see what new they were going to come up with. And now there's just, not only is there not that much new, but when we think it's new, it's like a tease because it sounds new, it's a new name, it's new notes, but then you get it and you're like, oh, this just smells like this other one, you know? And I still love my candles. I still love my candle shelves back there, but yeah, it hasn't been as exciting lately. This, I think I picked it up because it's just like super different than anything else. Maybe not necessarily different than anything else they've come out with before. I wouldn't know really because I don't think I've ever gotten a vetiver candle before, but it was different than anything that you know, I have had before, and I liked the berry and the orange. However, you really have to like vetiver to like this candle. Um, I lit it up because I wanted to see what would happen when it was burning, and unfortunately, I feel like even though the berry note was so strong on cold, I wasn't getting it too much when it was burning. I did feel like it was orange, and the orange smelled like orange. It didn't smell like vague citrus or lemon or anything. It smelled like orange, but then, yeah vetiver it borders on it's more earthy than like cologne but like it's almost a little cologne too and you guys know I'm just I just can't get into cologne scents and I, I have a really hard time I, I I will like dabble in pine a little bit but I that's really not my thing to go with like nature or earthy scents the vetiver it's a lot anyway I burned this one too because my mom wants to try it and she might like it I don't know how she feels about vetiver, but she really likes orange scents, and I think she'll actually like it. This pro this one probably won't go back to the store. It'll probably go over my mom. If you like vetiver, definitely pick it up because I think it's really, really nice. I just don't know. I just don't know if I can get down with the vetiver, but that's a personal thing. Those are all the candles new for holiday that I did pick up. I picked up one more, though. I actually picked up another sweet kettle corn. This one surprised me. So like I said, I picked this up a while ago, my first one, and I didn't know how I would feel about it. I don't really particularly like kettle corn that much, like if I'm eating it, because I'm not a caramel person, and I feel like it's, you know, kettle corn's really sweet, tastes kind of caramely. I don't like caramel corn either. But burning it, I was surprisingly intrigued. I was like, wow, you know, I actually kind of really like this, and I wanted to be able to burn that first one that I got with Abandon and just not worry about feeling like I needed to save it or whatever. So I was glad to just find another one. It's not online anymore, but my store had a few. I was glad to find one more so that I can just have this one for my collection and burn the other one that I have. I don't feel like I need to get four or five or anything. I don't feel like it's something I'm going to want to burn all the time. I just wanted to be able to burn the other one and know that I had another one for my collection because anytime they do something Something like this that's really kind of like weird and different and this is another one that's exciting because you know they have popcorn and pine which is different than this but that's the only other popcorn scent I can think of that they've done so this was kind of new and different so this was great and uh, you know it's weird it's different so I like to have like one unburned one just to be in the collection when they have weird and different ones like that but I want to be able to burn my other one so I picked up one more of those I do like it it's interesting. It's buttery for sure. Okay, so we still have a little bit more to talk about because I've got new body care. So I got the Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle, the Cotton Candy Champagne, and the Iced Raspberry Bellini. And again, they were buy two, get one, and then I had the 20%. So like four bucks each. And I was just glad to be able to have the trial sizes because I did not, I have some rewards. If I would have loved any of these, I could have gotten large ones for free, but I didn't love any of them, but I kind of just wanted to try them. Now, the one that I didn't get, the winter peach marshmallow, which like, what, what is winter about peach? I guess maybe marshmallow like I still think of marshmallows being more summer like over a campfire but I guess some people might put it over like a indoor fire in the winter I don't know that one had jasmine in it too and it just felt very nondescript I tried it on and I was like I guess it kind of smells like peach I guess it kind of smells like marshmallow I guess it kind of smells floral 
but it doesn't like really smell like any of these things. It's kind of like Cookies with Santa or Holiday Cheer. It was just sort of like a vague and nondescript and nothing stood out about it. I could have really liked it. If they put out body hair that smelled like peach meringue or something where you're getting like a peach and a vanilla and it's strong, oh my God, I would love that. But this was not that. So I didn't get that one. And like I said, I'm not thrilled with any of these. So um, let's go through them quickly before I am completely sitting in the dark here. <laughs> Uh, the sugared snickerdoodle. This is just generically kind of sweet. It's just a sweet scent. Um, I'm a little bored with it. Maybe it kind of smells a little bit like wrapped in sugar, but not as good. It is not as good as pumpkin pecan waffles. The pumpkin pecan waffles body care, I really ended up falling in love with that. That was great. I It's no longer in stores. I think you can still get some of it online. I don't want to do a whole online order just for that, but I feel like it'll probably come back because it was very popular. I would get more next year. Pumpkin pecan waffles body care was awesome. This is so not awesome compared to that. And you know what else I like better? Christmas cookies which is online exclusive this year, just like it was last year, but it's back. If you're looking for good body care, Christmas cookies, I recommend that one. That one's really good. There's nothing wrong with this, but there's nothing like awesome about it either. It just kind of smells like vanilla and like bakery, but it doesn't smell as good as the candle at all. I'm not really getting like that snickerdoodle, like cinnamon sugar butteriness. I'm just kind of getting like a plain old vanilla scent kind of. I'm sort of bored with it. Um, the Love Cotton Candy Champagne Body Care, I'm also not crazy about it. It does smell different than the candle. I will say this. The candle reminds me of Champagne Toast. The body care does not. It does not remind me of the Champagne Toast Body Care. It does remind me a little bit of the Boardwalk Taffy Body Care, but like with a little bit of a zing or a zip to it. Like Boardwalk Taffy Body Care, but like with some citrus or something like a little bit more tart going on in there too. And it's okay at first. On the dry down on me, it was turning a little perfumey rather than just kind of candy-like and sweet like when you first put it on and the perfuminess was bothering me a little. So it's just not for me. I just don't think it works with my body chemistry. But I saved the best for last because I do like the Iced Raspberry Bellini Body Care here. Um, or at least the cream. These are all creams that I'm trying out. I do like this one. It's very sour. It smells a little bit more summery than wintry. And it smells a lot like the candle though. I would say these two don't smell like the candles that they're supposed to match, but the Ice Raspberry Bellini does smell like the candle, which means it smells like Cranberry Pear Bellini too. And I like it, but it is sour. So you have to be down with kind of smelling like a sour fruit, but like it's nice. And that one stayed pretty true on dry down. Um, but that's my favorite of the three, but I don't like love any of them. I loved pumpkin pecan waffles body care though. So if <laughs> you need a recommendation and you're doing an online order, snatch that up because that was really awesome. Um, okay guys, I think that's it. Um, <laughs> it, it was fun. It was fun. I've missed this. Um, hopefully I'll be back sooner than later and if I burn any of these and I feel like I have enough to say that I can put together a whole nother like post burn review video, I will. Um, otherwise I'll just have thoughts on Instagram so you can follow me there at Candles and Music. Um, otherwise I'll be back whenever they get another shipment of Christmas stuff. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, thanks for watching um, and I will see you next time. Bye!